Okay, so the last tutorial that we did, we created a hardware configuration. Now what we must do is we must calibrate the monochromators. This is required only to be done once whenever you build a new hardware configuration. Each monochromator has an internal flag that locates a autocal position and each monochromator is a little bit different so we need to find out what these monochromators calibrate at and then we'll store those values to our configuration. In order to do that you'll want to go to the action menu and you simply choose calibration. You'll see accessories tab and you'll see monochromators. So once we pick that it'll open a dialog box and what we can do is tell the monochromator to go to a specific wavelength. I'm going to choose 300. The monochromator will move there and now it will cue you to look at what value it's actually stopped at. So I'm just going to take a look at the monochromator dial and it stopped at 301 for the excitation monochromator. So I'm going to type in 301 and say set. Now the monochromator is calibrated. We have to do the emission monochromator as well. I'm going to tell it to go to 400 and now when I look at the gauge I can see that it's at 443 so I'm gonna type in 443 set and once we say OK those values will then be forced into the hardware configuration which you can see here and the autocal position is 251 for this mono and 293 for the other monochromator and those will be stored and saved with your hardware configuration and it won't require you to uh, recalibrate them again.